alarm bells ring in my head. This is how you die, Arangle. No, it's fine. Sure! Apparently I have no self-preservation. I woke up late today. Actually, I do that every day. Welcome. You got that. <laughs> okay. Hi, Internet friends. Welcome back to Dr. Charmander Gaming. I'm Dr. Charmander, and we're going to go back to Dream Daddy, because I promise I'll make it through this game. We just finished up the Twitter date uh, with Robert, and now there's a new notification. <laughs> Hi, this is Steven from Dadmazon. I'm out front with your delivery. Who writes through Dadbook? Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, I'll be right down. Wait. No, sorry. I need to put on pants first. Common problem. I can't find my pants, but I'm wrapped from the waist down in a duvet. Are you cool with that? <laughs> okay. I can come back tomorrow. No, wait. I'll be right down. I need to find... I found some sensible freeze. Look, we... Push all bent. We, we do whatever we can to get our packages. I totally understand. Put on pants! Ooh, I got a package. I wonder what it is. Oh, I bet it's... Oh, I bet it's that package of socks I ordered. Very adult. We open up the box and start pulling out the package. Packing peanuts. Oh my god, I can't talk. I open up the box and start pulling the packing peanuts out. Man, these socks reek. Why, I just bought them. Why do they smell bad? Okay, that's definitely not socks. It's butterflies? <laughs> oh boy, I almost don't even want to know what Amanda was planning on doing with these. Hey Amanda, your box of dead butterflies is here. What's up? Are you sacrificing them? <laughs> yes, my monthly order of dead butterflies. What are you doing? What? You ordered butterflies. You can order butterflies online? Okay, I guess it's not. Wait, so these aren't yours? Uh, no, and, but I'm definitely ordering some right now. No! <laughs> um, okay, love you. Please no more, that's sad. I take a look at the box again. Oh, this is addressed to Damien's house. Oh! Okay. Um. I mean, I guess I could go see him again. Amanda's about to order her own dead butterflies, so let's leave her to that with her own agency. If you really want to commit to some dead butterflies, you can pay for them yourself. I should take it over to him. Also, it's a federal offense to open someone else's mail, so there's that. Am I still wearing capris? I would really love it if I went over there, like, half covered in a duvet. I jog over to Damien's house with the box. I pull back his door knocker, but suddenly the door opens. Mr. Bull, to what do I owe the pleasure? Whoa, how did you know I was about to knock? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, exactly how I would respond. Um, uh, I think this got delivered to my house by mistake. I hand him the box and his face lights up. What a wonderful surprise. I was just about to send a strongly worded letter to the courier service about this. Many thanks. I, not to pry, but what are you going to do with those butterflies? He's probably going to pin them in a wall. Don't judge him. Oh. What do you like to see? Uh, mm. Alarm bells ring in my head. This is how you die, Arangle. No, it's fine. Sure! Apparently I have no self-preservation. Good to know. We ignore our inner alarm as I, as this dad. Great. Cool. Awesome. Oh my god, you all should listen to your own intuition. Anyway, Damien leads me into his study, where he set up some sort of workstation. Above his desk is a wall of pinned butterflies, moths, and beetles. We saw them! Anyway, oh wow, that's really something, Damien. My dad needs to get memory tested. We just saw this. He just saw this. I saw this like three months ago, and I remembered it. I'm quite proud of my little collection. You do all of this yourself? Of course. I find it rather relaxing. How do you you. It's simple. Here, let me show you. These aren't quite ready yet. They'll need to be rehydrated overnight so they're easier to work with. I have some over there that are ready to pin. Oh, I didn't know that's what you did. Ugh. Damien takes a seat at his desk while I hover behind him. He picks up a little triangular paper package and snips off the edges. He pulls out an all-black butterfly and shows it to me. I'm rather excited about this one. It's a turquoise swallowtail. 
I used to know. Those have the little bits at the end. He gently opens the wings, spreading the butterfly out on the table. The backs of the wings are gorgeous, iridescent green color. Mm. Oh, and the pigment on this one is ni- is so nice too. Anyway, anyways, pinning a butterfly is actually very simple. It just requires a delicate touch. First, I'll put a pin through the thorax. Damon slides the pin through the middle of the butterfly and places the butterfly on a piece of styrofoam. He carefully arranges the antennae and with forceps and begins placing paper and more pins on and around it. He does this so effortlessly, it's almost hypnotic. I have a frame there, here, that I think this one will look quite pretty in, but I need, but I'll need to let it sit for a couple days until it's ready. And then what? I remove all the pins and put it on display with the others. I take a closer look at Damien's collection. One with bright blue wings which keeps drawing my eye. This one's so pretty. Damien takes it off the wall. Mm. Ah, yes, that's a blue morpho. One of my favorites, too. That's a thing. He hands the small frame to me. Here, I think this would look lovely in your home. Oh, I couldn't take this. I insist. Believe me, I have more than enough. If you can't see from the wall of butterflies. Thank you. If you ever have an interest in pinning some insects yourself, you know where to find me. Down the block, apparently. Haha, <laughs> I think I'll leave that up to you. I feel like I'd probably break them in half with my butter fingers. Yep. Nonsense. You have beautiful, steady hands. You would make a fine taxidermist. Am I blushing? Damien walks me to the door and gives me a warm smile as I leave. Do take care of yourself, Iron. Thanks for allowing me to share my old little hobby with you. Well, that's nice. That was less horrifying than they made it to be when you open up the box. What's in the box? Okay. New messages. No. Okay. Going through these just because I'm curious. Hello, Amanda's dad. So this must be his kids. It's me, your friend Craig's, who it's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. I have nice and smart children who are good at computers. Aw, man, great to hear from you, buddy. Oh no, come on, come on, my my man. What's up? I am still strong. Strong. I am strong. I'm am strong. Ha! Don't I know it? Say, I've been reading up about whey protein. You use that at all? I figured it helped me develop a bit more muscle. Yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party, and they wanted to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on here. Because this is dad book, why would she be here? You're also invited. Physical invitation to follow. Cool, I'd love to come. I'll let Amanda know. Thank you, Amanda's dad. Attend that tea party! Always carry a pocket knife, unless you're going to the airport. Coffee time! You know dads love coffee. Gonna brew myself something black as midnight on a moonless night. (laughs) I put on a fresh pot and work on a few word jumbles while I wait for it to brew. Thanks for reminding me. I think it's appropriate for this game. Hey, this one spells sorrow. Dad, ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gonna tackle it head on. No, are you ready for the thing that we're gonna do today? The thing that you promised you'd do? Honey, I already told you that I'm not, I'm not going to throw away my Tom Clancy novels. They're just stacked in the living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over, and you don't even read them. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. The tea party, Dad. Nope, I don't remember that. (laughs) Craig's kids. That hand-drawn invitation. I wish I could see it. Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on a sheet of Computer paper inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. They spelled cordially wrong. Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going. Man, I just... I am so inadequately pantsed all the time. I can go outside in sweatpants. Nothing's stopping me. If the, if the invitation made the effort to write out cordially, could you at least put on real pants? Dad, just, ugh, I'll see you in a minute. (laughs) Put on going outside pants. Fuck authority. (laughs) Let's be nice to these children. 
Hello, thank you for coming to our tea party. I do my best bow and present my daughter, who thanks them with a curtsy. This way, please. Briar and Hazel lead us to a small table with tiny chairs. Some are occupied by stuffed animals. And Matt and his daughter, Carmen Sita, are here too. Yay! Matt raises a comically small plastic teacup at me. Hey, dude. How's the tea? The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful. I taste a hint of lemongrass. You're a great dad. I love you. Hello, Carmen Sita. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. That's fair. You can all call me that. Please have a seat. I sit between Amanda and Matt. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this chair. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I turn to see Daisy and Brian enter the into the backyard and take a seat next to us. Sorry, I'm late. Daisy made me put on my going outside pants. Fair enough. <laughs> see, Amanda? Amanda gives me a knowing look, and I return. Amanda gives me a knowing look, and I return an obliging wink. She rolls her eyes. Is that really something your daughter had to pressure you into, Brian? I give Amanda another, even more exaggerated wink. She rolls her eyes even harder. The fall out of her head. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules for some high tea. Yay! Man, this is a very tea or tea. Ugh. This is a very tea-centric game. I know I went for high tea at Damien's, and we're doing it again. Actually, it's a common mis- oh, no. Actually, it's a common misconception that high tea was appreciated by nobles. Dad, shut up! There. Now, if you'll all put on your designated tiaras. Yay! There are little tiaras sitting on everyone's plate. Well, except for Brian's. His is a softball helmet. Oh, I thought we were going to make little flower crowns. Oh, we ran out of tiaras. I don't think this is going to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Dad, you're royalty. Please act like it. <laughs> Brian tries to balance the ill-fitting softball helmet on top of his head, but immediately, <laughs> but it immediately tumbles off and into the bushes. I'll get that later. Hey, everybody. Craig comes out with a teapot and a tray of sandwich cookies. Yum. Dad, is the tea ready? Or yeah, it's been um steeping for a while now. Awesome. Would you girls like to serve our guest tea? No, thank you. We'd much appreciate our servant's help. Oh, <laughs> Crane leans over to me. That's me. <laughs> Fair. Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie onto each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm, awfully fluorescent for tea. <laughs> I clink my teacup with mats and take a sip. Good lemonade. It's tea. Right. Very good tea. Oh my god. I was worried for a minute. I was like, what is it? Melted crayons? Good god. I lean over to Amanda, who's happily enjoying her tea. So, what do we do at tea parties? We enjoy the splendors of upper-class society, Father. She takes a dainty bite of her sandwich cookie. Marvelous. <laughs> so, the meeting of the princesses has been called to order. Ooh, what sort of princess business do we have? Here, here. But I am a warrior princess. I hunt and stuff, and I have, like, a really cool sword. Can I be spa a space princess? Yes, I'll allow it. I'll be a ro I'll be rock star princess. I am also a space princess. Can there be more than one? Space is pretty big, don't you think? I love it. I changed my mind. I want to be space princess, too. Everyone can be space princess. Dad, what are you? Do I get to be a princess? Duh. We have tiaras. Duh. Well, I guess that makes me history channel princess, hacker princess, rude boy princess. Wow. I mean, rude boy princess would just be Rihanna. That would just be my name. Hacker princess. I am terrible at computers and replied to these children. But anyway, history channel princess, probably my actual style. I am ruler of all I survey, and what I survey is a 10-hour marathon of cupcake storage wars. <laughs> Ugh. How long are those cupcakes being stored? I don't think I've seen that one. A squad of professional bakers bid on empty storage units and then have to bake a thousand cupcakes using only the ingredients in the storage unit. Ugh. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds terrible. Oh, it is. 
<laughs> no. I think I'll be landscaper and general contracting princess. Barista princess reporting for duty. Hey everybody, CrossFit princess here. I like it. Not now, servant. If it weren't for the princess uprising, it would be <laughs> you. If it weren't for the princess uprising, it would be you serving me. We sip our tea a little longer, and then the girls run off to fight dinosaurs as space rock star warrior princesses. I think they grow up so fast. It was just, it was like yesterday that I was helping Amanda throw her own tea parties. Did she make you a servant too? You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> know your place, dads. Carmen Sita made me actually brew tea for hers. Pitfalls of owning a coffee shop. I mean, actual tea is nice. I mean, I mean, for children, you probably don't want hot beverages, but I do like tea. Pitfall. Your custom blends are amazing. The hibiscus one you gave me a while back was choice. Mm, that sounds nice. Aw, oh, thanks. It's really nice the girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved into this community. We are too. Amanda's been kind of a role model to them, you know? My little Amanda? My role model? Oh, I'm so proud for this fictional character. I hadn't even realized, and I don't even know if Amanda does either. But I guess they're right. All of the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of her way to play with them. That's so sweet. Because she just... <laughs> I am so proud of her. Oh, you better not proud dad cry at this tea party, Iron. What's wrong with that? I brought extra word jumbles if anyone wants to kill time while the girls play. The day rolls on and the girls get tuckered out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, promising that she'll send them the best ones later. That's sweet. We all clean up and help put away the tea sets and tables, then head out as Daisy and Carmen see to fall asleep in their on their damn shoulders. <laughs> Aww. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, History Channel Princess. That's what they should call me forever. No more. No more Amanda's dad. History Channel Princess. You want dinner? Nah, I filled up on cookies. <sighs> oh man, your crash is gonna be intense. Me too. I'm tired. Dude, same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. Oh, so hard! But in a good way, but also in a kind of scary way. How so? I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior with them. I don't want to let them down. Is this because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? <laughs> wow, let's just go for the one thing I'm sensitive about. I corrupted her dad. She secondhand smokes now. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of responsibility. Well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Shucks, Pops. I ruffle Amanda's hair. Well, thank you all for joining me for that.